Welcome to Cinemassacre's Rental Reviews. Our featured rentals are... But first, a message from our sponsor. Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. You ever notice how most mobile RPGs just aren't metal enough? That's why they get guys like Tony to do the advertisements for them. Well, that certainly isn't the case with Iron Maiden, Legacy of the Beast! You won't need to run to the hills to get your hands on this game. Download it on the Google Play Store and App Store and experience the craziest mobile game of 2020. Tons of unique game features, epic monster characters, both good and evil, radical 3D graphics, and a whole slew of ways to customize your character and team. Battle hordes of evil cultists, reclaim the shattered pieces of your soul, and level the fuck up. Yeah, I just leveled up. Download Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast today through our link in the description and receive a special gift and a free epic champion. So go right now. Don't waste your time always searching for those wasted years and download the most metal mobile game ever. Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast. Welcome back to another Febru carry. Um, so this is going to be the Truman Show. So the plot, Jim Carrey plays Truman, who's the subject of a 24-7 reality TV show. Since birth, the TV network keeps him trapped unknowingly inside a town where everyone else are actors. Definitely a Twilight Zone vibe with this yeah, one. I, yeah, mm -hmm. actually, that's what I kept seeing. This is the first mm. time I've watched this movie. Mm -hmm. oh. I've never seen it, and yeah. the whole time all I could think of was it was Twilight Zone. Yeah. Where it's scary. This movie yeah. actually has mo moments it is, in it yeah. that thinking about it are real creepy. Mm -hmm. It's very yeah. creepy. It, it brings specific, up some interesting uh, questions, too. It does, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get deep. We'll get deep in yeah. it soon. But, uh, yeah, so it's a lot like uh, if you were to pinpoint an actual Twilight Zone episode, if, if, if you're curious. It was a world of difference in the original series. It's about this guy who um, suddenly realizes that he, his life is a movie. Like all of a sudden, he just hears the director say "cut," and then he's just on a movie set. All of a sudden, I watched that one recently. Oh, did I you? Yeah, I watched it recently. Oh, yeah, cool. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. But a lot of people might point out there's one in the '80s Twilight Zone series called Special Service, and that one's supposed to be more like a a closer, direct, you know, connection to Truman Show. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, Truman Show is really good yeah one of his best yeah, for sure. yeah still holds up really really well yeah um, i like this i saw it as a mm -hmm. kid i uh i didn't see it in theaters mm -hmm. i really wanted to because i used to love jim carrey stuff mm -hmm. but everyone was like nah it's boring it's not funny it's not ace ventura oh. which was like a thing that he went through for a bit mm -hmm. but i even as a kid when i finally saw it on video i, I loved it I'm it's, like, this is really good. I mean, it's scary to think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's there's actually more... like a, a a mental disorder where um they actually call it the Truman Show uh yeah syndrome. So it's basically yeah. it's people with schizophrenia. Like they mm. already have the symptom, mm -hmm. but like I think they see this movie and it gives them the idea mm. that they're now in a movie. Or they're right. Or they're right. Yeah. Or they're right. Uh, it kind of reminds me, I didn't think we were going to get into this this early, but it reminds me of the phenomenon uh, known as gang stalking. Have you heard about no, this, James? No, There's people out there that think they're being stalked by everyone. Okay. They think everyone is following them and filming them, kind of like this movie. Okay. Look up the videos. They're hilarious. These people, like, go up to mailmen and delivery men. Okay. And yell at them. They're like, stop gang stalking me. <laughs> this guy walked into the office when I was there, and now here he is parked out here. Stop stalking me, right? Don't ever stalk me again. Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's stalking you about you. what? You. <laughs> Laugh some more. Do it. <laughs> You're crazy. There's one where a guy goes, lady, you just walked down the block across the street to yell at me. How am I stalking? Oh. <laughs> but I think it's people who watch this movie and then they get the idea that they're just being followed by everyone. Oh, wow. Okay, he's making his turn on the Lancaster Square. Oh my god, he knew his knowledge. Something's wrong. Uh, change frequencies. Yeah. So yeah, this uh, this movie had an effect yeah. on people. <laughs> and and think, what's weird is this movie it does have like a layer of humor, but there's also this creepy element to it. Um, yeah. Like yeah. how everything in his world is fake, 
and how he has the wife who's always smiling mm. and she's got the product placement. Yeah, and she's I always, love yeah. that with the cocoa yeah. powder. Where yeah, she's yeah. like, with no preservatives. Like, and, mm. and he's yeah. like, who are you doing this for? Like, he's like, who are you talking to? That, yeah, yeah. It's so weird. It, th yeah, this yeah. movie did, it freaked me out mm. really yeah. much. Like uh, watching it the first time, uh, it starts to be almost like it's this horror film, even though it's not. Mm -hmm. The way that uh, every time he's trying to go somewhere, everybody gets in his way. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. When he when he finally yeah. does leave, mm -hmm. and they're t everybody's trying so hard not to let him yeah, in, yeah. the the, uh, the, nuclear, the power nuclear power plant, power plant, plant. is like going on. <laughs> oh, it, it's well, like, well, there's plant. like some of it. It goes to the extent where it's really funny at the mm -hmm. same time. Where there's the the when he goes to book a flight. And um, oh, there's like the poster the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. messaging to make him like not want to leave is so funny. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like the, so, the poster has this picture of a plane getting struck by lightning and says, "This could happen." Yeah, yeah. and the one thing it's like, uh, it, it's like terrorists, street gangs, and it's like <laughs> listing all the things that could happen on a plane. And um, yeah, yeah. Or, and one was like rabid dogs, I think, or something yeah. like that. The, and and then, then not only does it, he has to cross the bridge, and they they well, you know, not to get into the whole thing, but like they. Uh, planted this fear since childhood of water yeah. and basically uh, he has to get over this bridge and he does get over it but then there's like walls of flame yeah, yeah. <laughs> the they, forest fire sign and yeah. then it's just gasoline yeah. like guys burning. they they kill his dad yeah to make sure he never li they don't really kill him they like fire the actor mm. i love when they show that part and he's in the water all angry because he got killed off and they, yeah. there's like a scuba guy helping him out through yeah the water. I was gonna say, so they do a good job of not really telling you what's going on mm -hmm. like the very beginning the first clue he gets well i mean you find out he's had clues his mm -hmm. whole life like the first clue is that a light falls from the sky. Yeah, yeah. and then like the like TV a studio show, light. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The TV show has ways around it to explain it. They're like, oh, can you believe that plane crash? And there's yeah, debris the plane everywhere. was dropping like equipment or something. Yeah, yeah. Like and then like later on, he sees like uh, there's like an elevator shaft, but there's like extras and crew people. Yeah, there. And, they're, and like, they're like, oh, and they yeah, close and, the door. Yeah, they're like an <laughs> elevator crashed and everyone died. Yeah. She's like, I have to, and I love that when he follows her to work because she says she has to amputate a person that was in the elevator crash. Yeah. And the doctor is like, okay, gonna yeah. make the first incision. And they're about to like, the person's like sitting there and they drop something and the woman jumps up and then they have to like push her back down. <laughs> like the actors keep breaking because they have, um, you know, that must be, imagine being on that. Yeah. Where you are one of those extras, and you have to constantly put on this show. Like, oh, I'm going nuts. It, it's it's crazy. The mm -hmm. like the idea yeah, of having yeah. all these people in this giant dome mm -hmm. yeah. that yeah. they have to constantly walk the same yeah, this path whole, each day. Yeah. The whole city is inside of a dome. Yeah, and, but uh, it's so big that you can't tell. You're it really in is behind the same. Hollywood sign. Yeah, yeah which I was just at sign. recently. I'm like, that's not a good yeah. place to build. <laughs> and I like that it's seen from space. Yeah, and, and yeah. it's just like kind of photoshopped on that's, there. But, there's uh, really, mm -hmm. really good effects in this. Mm -hmm. That is not one of them. No, the, the part where, view, yeah. where it, it zooms out and you see the guy close the door. Yeah, like that looks like mm -hmm. some of the special effects I've. But done it's for so the quick, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, they don't really introduce like the creator and stuff till way late in the mm -hmm. movie. Oh, and actually, then they give you all the back. And not, mm -hmm. Any other movie would give you the backstory ahead yeah. of time. Well, yeah. that's a, yeah, it's a great way yeah. to do it to like withhold it um, yeah. until you, you. So then there's like a big you know moment where it's like whoa, like this is what's really going on. Yeah. But that's not just a twist. Like we're, we're in some like if it was a Twilight Zone episode, that would just be the twist ending and it's over. But this movie still has a lot more movie mm -hmm. left yeah. once you know what it is. Yeah. Because then it's all about wanting to see him leave. But what's so interesting is that he has this choice to make where he can stay within this utopian world that was built for him and mm -hmm. he's where he's safe or he can escape and have freedom. So, yeah, uh, I'm on. So you find out he's in love with this one girl, not his wife. Mm -hmm. Sylvia. Uh, Natasha McKellen. She was in California. Mm -hmm. Good actress. Um, like they were meant to meet, but then they kind of fabricated this yeah. actor yeah wife she was for him. i guess apparently too like she was like an activist that wanted him to be yeah, freed because like mm -hmm. apparently like truman they mentioned he was the first baby adopted by a company a company yeah, yeah. which is and then there's like not all... even just adopted but he was adopted before birth so yeah, yeah. basically he was born into this show uh, of five and... people that were unwanted pregnancies that yeah. they were going to use for which yeah this yeah. show has this like Almost like like it's it's like Orwellian, yeah. like dystopian, mm -hmm. like future, like sci-fi element mm -hmm. to it that you don't think like when I first heard of this movie, I didn't think 
it would kind of be as thought provoking as it was. It's very thought provoking. It, it, yeah, it is. It's really yeah. just. When, when um, you, and that's so weird because because you because you can describe it as like a dystopian thing, but I also described it as a utopia. It's almost like a fake utopia. Yeah. yeah. Meant to. Um, well, much like, like 1984, where yeah. where they were just you know given like a uh, you know. It, it was just mm -hmm. like their thoughts were regulated. Yeah, Everybody was yeah. just kind of on drugs, and it was awesome, but it really wasn't. Yeah. It's, you we, know, and what the, the perfect world, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the movie kind of like, it always makes you ask your own question. It's like, well, what kind of restrictions were you born with? Because like, everybody, no matter who you are, where you're from, you're born with some kind of things that you have no control over. Where just like, um, you know, in this movie, it's, it's you know, fiction. Like He's born into this reality show, but uh, it makes you think like, oh, well, are you um, kind of stuck within these trappings, or do you have a choice? Can you do you have free will? Can you make your own destiny? Yeah, I'm on the activist side. Mm -hmm. I think this is like slavery and prison for him. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. oh, he yeah. has no choice in this. Well, Kristoff yeah. is no joke evil. Like, he is an evil. Yeah, he, and he's obsessed villain. with his creation yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It's like, I mean, not to spoil it, but of course he does make that decision. He's like, I'm, yeah. I'm going to get out of here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a great scene. Yeah, oh, that scene is it's incredible. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he's yeah. standing at the wall and the yeah. the, the bat. I think it was the mast of the yeah the mast of the ship. Yeah, like, yeah. crashes into the wall. Yeah. yeah, that scene was actually really intense too. Where he's where they're ramping up the fake storm. Yeah, and everyone's like, "You're gonna kill him!" Like, and he says to him, yeah. "Like, God's sake, Chris! The whole world is watching. We can't let him die in front of a live audience. He was born in front of a live audience." And it's just yeah, like yeah. like Kristoff is ready to yeah. kill Truman. He's basically yeah, to like keep this, the show going. Yeah, yeah, like this guy who kind of like plays like a god type character. Like he's a creator of the show. He's Christoph, literally in the and sun like, and yeah. the moon. <laughs> and he speaks to him like through like this big like yeah. this sort of like TV <laughs> megaphone thing. And it's so he's basically like kind of like made himself into like a god. Yeah. Um, He's played by uh, Ed Harris, who for the longest time I thought was Peter Weller. Yeah, we um, talked about that yeah, recently in the, the Rock review, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a couple cameos. Mm -hmm. Paul Giamatti's in it. Well, not a cameo. Paul Giamatti's mm -hmm. in it. But um, the guy playing the music is composer Philip Glass, who also composed some of the music for the movie. He also did wow, Candyman yeah. and a bunch of stuff. He did, a, mm -hmm. did the score for the 1931 Dracula. Yeah. Where they added his score. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he's good. Yeah. He's good. Oh, speaking yeah. of cameos, actually, uh, the scene where... When they first reveal that it's a television show and they're showing yeah. the dome and they show like all the people around the world watching it, yeah. there's a scene where they show a, a giant outdoor like arena, like a stage with yeah. with him superimposed yeah. on it. That's the 1985 Hall and Oates Liberty concert. <laughs> oh, really? That yeah, that took place on Liberty Island when they were renovating the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, huh. I've watched that concert like a hundred oh, times. Oh, that's funny. And oh. as I'm watching, I'm like. That's the Liberty, oh. like, and the, I and I, I can wow. even find, like, yeah. the shots they use, but that's before Hall & Oates came out on stage. But even the boats in the background, if you look at the yeah. Hall & Oates Liberty concert right in the beginning when they're singing Out of Touch, mm -hmm. yeah. there's an aerial shot that shows wow. all those people. It's the same staged um, boats mm -hmm. in the background. They just took that and superimposed Truman onto the it. Same huh. thing with that interview. The guy interviewing him is Harry Shear from The Simpsons. Yeah, from The Simpsons, yeah. And Godzilla 89. Kent oh, Brockman. He was Kent Brockman. Yep. Or he Which, was uh, the like, news guy. Godzilla, Godzilla 89. By, by Lanty, or? No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, it, it, the Matthew Broderick 89. Oh, 98. 98, 98 he was 98, the douchey yeah. television guy in oh, okay. the television yeah. journal. He's also though. like Ned Flanders yeah, and Kent Brockman from The Simpsons and all that. He was in Spinal Tap, so he showed up. I'm like, this movie has a lot of, oh, it's that guy. It's that girl moment. I always forget, like, uh, that Harry Shearer was in Spinal Tap because yeah. that's the there's the episode of The Simpsons too where they go and see Spinal Tap. That's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, this movie is really, really intense and really yeah. good uh -huh. and funny. Yeah, it's yeah. very funny. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Like I, I loved when they showed Truman as a kid mm -hmm. and he's climbing the rocks and Dad's like, "No, don't go over there." <laughs> yeah. Oh, and okay. if he when he grabs the kid, if you listen, you can hear construction happen. So they're still building the town. Yeah. Oh, okay. While he's a kid, I'm like, "That's hilarious." Oh, so, wow. The guy who like during Christmas busts oh. <laughs> out of the Christmas present. And he's like, Truman, oh, I'm yeah. on the Truman yeah, show. Yeah, right. and, the, and Truman's yeah. just like, what? Like, the, he has no idea what's yeah. happening. I think I think my favorite is uh, the Mount Rushmore picture. Oh, and it's tiny. Yeah, he's like, wow, <laughs> it kind of looks tiny. And she's like, yeah. oh, it's from far away. Yeah, but they it's just like turn clearly the page. a model. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like right behind them too. It's yeah. like not even. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a good movie to rewatch. Oh a lot no, it's one you, you notice... have to watch. Yeah. I was noticing stuff I haven't seen. Mm -hmm. I've seen this movie a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely have not seen it nearly enough, but uh, <laughs> it, it's so good. Yeah. The uh, the camera angles are insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, there's like every scene they would put the camera in the most 
interesting place, even if it didn't really call for it. But mm. I guess the, the implication is that there's hidden cameras everywhere and they're kind of trying to show you where they're yeah. all shooting. But there's one I remember where he's driving and it's shooting through the like the digital oh, the clock, right. yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. And, and like the digits are reversed because you're looking through them. Mm. I was like, wow, that's really specific. That's yeah, a, that's a clever and, and, idea. And the actors know where all the cameras are because his friend is yeah, all like, yeah. man, that's a beer, and he's yeah, like yeah. looking at the camera, but Truman's over yeah. there. It's yeah. like, oh man, that's a great beer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. I wonder what it would take to pull that off. Like, could you just imagine like all these people who are just acting? Yeah. And like, you know what? You don't need to do it that these days because I mean, look at us. We're filming our crap right now. We, we <laughs> I live stream. You live stream. Mm. I love yeah. the role. There was yeah. all this science fiction stuff being like, oh. People uh -huh. are going to be able to watch you 24-7 and society got around to it. They're like, oh, we love it. It's oh. kind of gotten there. <laughs> I don't like when the government does it, but I like doing it. Like, I have a security camera in my house right now. Yeah. I can rotate it around. I can look at my fish tank mm, and yeah. see what's going on. Yeah, there. yeah. Yeah, I like that stuff. I, I'm a yeah. big fan of security cameras. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, when they're your own, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. not like... Uh, Anything invasive, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure yeah. there's some company that's Did hacking you? into it. Mm -hmm. But I, but the thing is, like, we live stream all the time. We show people our lives. Yeah. And it's like, this mm -hmm. movie's trying to warn us about it. Have you ever seen... Inside, um, it's like, we love it. <laughs> there's this old video, not to, like, bring it, but do you ever see the security cameraman? Oh, my God. Is this guy just going around people, like, filming them? Yeah. He would just walk up to people and start filming them. And it's like a lot of it is people like, please stop filming me. But he just keeps going to yeah. to the point where it's like critical mass. Oh, it's insane! It's and insane. People uh, try to fight him. People yeah, throw stuff it, at but him. It, it becomes like by the end of it, this crazy social commentary that like yeah. wasn't meant to happen. It was just this guy being a jerk. It was okay. being but an it asshole, goes but into actually, where like he raises good questions. They're like, stop filming. He's like, yeah, but when you go to a store, you're being filmed there, and they're like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, well. Same yeah, thing. he and goes. Like, no, it's not like, the same thing. You just walked into my. <laughs> yeah, hey. It's if you get a chance, look, yeah. dude, look it up. It'll blow your mind. It's that like forty gang minutes long. Videos. Let's just watch <laughs> gang stalk videos. <laughs> Does he do only public places at least? Yeah, yeah, he goes like, to like, okay. and it, well, he also like he keeps also walking into this weird like mahjong gambling den. Oh, yeah. they're the ones that and throw they the throw stuff things at him. at him and stuff, and he just keeps going. Like he'll come back later, and like they'll see him, and they're just like, and they stop and don't know what to do, and there's always this angry dude that like gets in his face and stuff yeah. and he goes to the uh scientology church he goes into and, a school like a college class yeah he goes, he goes to a college, college class, class with the camera and the professor's <laughs> like get out yeah. and he just won't leave like he just keeps going until the point where somebody like forcibly makes him leave yeah. it's but he's really gotta, funny he, he's got a point there's cameras everywhere what's mm. the difference what's the difference yeah i don't know it's really good though i mean he sounds like an ass to me he but. does but, <laughs> but it's like the way he shows people like yeah it's I, I don't know. You got to watch it. It'll. Yeah. It, I'm telling you, it'll blow yeah. your mind. It's and actually like, like I mentioned before. I used which to one do, is this? Again? Is this gang stalkers? No, 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 it's just called security, security camera. Man. Secu oh, the security camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or yeah. surveillance. Yeah. Camera surveillance camera. camera. Okay. Then, um, that's what it is. Yeah. I mentioned before about this show. This took me back because I used to film hidden camera prank mm. videos. So I, I would have to have like <laughs> GoPros in cars mm. and stuff and like hi. We once had a like a thermos like this. That had like a screw on thing with a GoPro there mm. that I would have to like walk around and follow oh. this guy and like film everyone. Wow. <laughs> so the Truman Show like prepared me for that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say too, this, the, um, I haven't seen this movie until we watched it for this. Yeah. And I loved it. But when I was a kid and I heard about this movie, um, and you know, I heard about like what it was about, mm -hmm. I think I was about 10 years old and, uh, it caused me to have my first existential crisis where all of a sudden I started really contemplating reality and mm -hmm. what what we perceive as just yeah. an, Oh, an so accept. you got a little of what I, yeah. those people I heard about are... are well, it, the, not uh, so much like where I was like, people are watching yeah. me, but then I started thinking like, okay, well, like I know I'm, in my mind, yeah. I'm real and I'm seeing you guys mm -hmm. through my eyeballs, mm -hmm. but... I could never ever experience life as either of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't, right now I'm saying this yeah. to you, but I could be a complete figment of whatever <laughs> simulation you guys are in and yeah. you're seeing me in first person, at least I think you are, yeah. I could yeah. never know. But it's kind of like that whole theory of where like, you know how uh, people say like the second, there's people who believe where nothing <laughs> is behind them. There's just a, a complete oh. void of nothing. So the only thing that exists is so, what your eyes so are it, seeing. So it like creates something right when you now, turn back there. Like if, so so turn, now, now that's nothing. Yeah, yeah, like when I turn, like you guys, I can hear you guys yeah, talking, yeah. but nothing here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, here's you know the, I mean? I, I, so there's people that believe that, that like almost as if like how video games render yeah, only yeah. what this, the camera's showing. This and is yeah. not, well, I, I thought about that before, and I mean, I always kind of dismissed it as, well, I, I think pretty much the same thing you guys are seeing and hearing is the same thing I am. But when you sh showed me that um, Laurel and... Uh, Yanny, oh yeah, Yanny Laurel thing that blew my mind. Remember, we were like can... obsessed with that yeah. back in like oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. what's it called? Um, I didn't we went to Nickel City Con, that. but but we it's went so to Nickel weird City because... Con and we were like yeah. for days we were talking about the Laurel yeah. and Yanny thing. Yeah, Laurel, Laurel. No, I went home and then showed it to my family and, and they heard different things. Yeah. yeah. Like I asked my daughter, what do you, what do you hear? Does, does it say Yanny or Laurel? She said Laurel. I hear and Laurel. And I'm like, I hear Yanny and I hear it plain you as day. You know what's funny? Um, I watched a video where someone started slowing it down. Okay. And playing it at different speeds. Okay. When they super slowed it down, I heard Yanny. All oh, I could really? hear was Yanny. But when it's played at normal speed, I hear Laurel. I, mean, I do not hear, hear Yanny. different. Like uh, mm. we've, we've talked about mm -hmm. for this show when we... Uh, Filmed with the CRT TV. Yeah. There's people who heard that frequency yeah. that I couldn't hear. Well, I hear it all. Too. Yeah. When editing, because well, I edit the show we film about our lives at the mm -hmm. video store. That time too. Is this, when, uh, is this a video store? Yeah, is, is this a this, show? Is this, I've never been really clear. Are we customers? Oh my What's God. What's going on here? Oh my God. It's not a real store. Holy shit. Oh my God. But. Is oh, that the my, rental? my God. Is that oh. the retail review set? Oh There's, my gosh. <laughs> There's not even a wall oh. here. What the whoa, hell? Whoa, guys, guys, this is really fucked guys, up. Guys, where's the cow door then? There's well, no... there can't be. Look, there's another room over there. What the hell is this? What, what is going on? Oh my God, this whole show is a fake. Hey, it's guys. so fake. Oh my God, I, this whole, our lives are a show. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh God, wait, who's the main character? Is it me? I want it to be me. It's actually me. <laughs> there's a camera. There's a microphone. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Guys, look. Oh, a microphone. oh my what, god! What is going on here? Oh my god! All right, guys, we gotta get out of here. Let's, yeah. let's get out of here. All I right, did not here we go. To being in this. Uh, I did not I'll see you guys at Fucko Land.